Thank you, Speaker. My question is to the Minister of Health and Long-Term Care. The Auditor General's report showed that 36 per cent of Ontario's work recipients are experiencing mental health issues, addiction and homelessness that act as barriers to employment. Our mental health care system, addiction services and housing are failing to provide people with the support they need to get their lives back on track. With this government cutting $330 million from mental health and addiction services, can the minister explain Order. how that will help OW recipients rebuild their lives? Deputy Premier. Well, I, I thank the member for the question. This is a serious concern, but I, I disagree with the premise. Uh, what we are doing is adding significantly to the mental health and addiction system with a commitment of $3.8 billion over 10 years, which is going to address across the spectrum the care needs of people with mental health and addictions issues in Ontario. This is a significant increase that is going to deal with issues like housing, with timely access to treatment, with making sure that we can deal with addictions issues across the province. That is what I disagree with with your question, but I do agree that, that, that we do need to make this a priority. Yep. That is what we did make a priority during our election promise to the people of Ontario, and that is what we're going to follow up on. We are going to develop and implement a coordinated and comprehensive mental health and addiction system. Yep. Yeah. Thank you, Speaker. Back to the Minister. People on OW who are living with mental health and addiction issues need the support from this government to rebuild their lives. What they don't need is a government paying lip service to tackling the problem while making the problem worse by restricting the definition of disability for ODSB recipients, virtually ensuring people with mental health and addiction issues will have a harder time getting the support they need or cutting the 330 million much-needed mental health services. How can the minister justify taking actions that will make life harder for people with mental health and addiction issues while claiming to help them? Minister. Well, Mr. Speaker, through you, I must say that I disagree with it the entire premise of that question, because what we are doing no is no trying facts. to help people with mental health and addiction problems. We want to make sure that they can get out of poverty. We want to make sure they have housing. We want to make sure they can find employment. There, these are significant challenges that people are facing, and we are going to deal with them by engaging in a series of consultations. I would be happy to speak with you about it to get your ideas. We need ideas from all of the people of Ontario, but we are going to make sure that we speak with uh, uh, people in this legislature. We're going to speak with health care stakeholders. We are going to speak to the people of Ontario and directly speak to people with lived experience because they are going to tell us what they need and we are going to make sure they get the services they need to deal with their mental health issues, to deal Response. with addiction issues. That is going to be my priority for the next number of months until we make sure we get it right and we can implement it as quickly as possible. Great